Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeevious Guys, and today we're going to be doing a completely different type of video. So, it is raining outside, we couldn't go diving, no units are going off today, all the stores were closed for the observance of Veterans Day, so we didn't have nothing else to do. So today, we're going to take you guys behind the scenes and show you exactly what goes on and all the steps we have to take to resell all this stuff. Everyone sees the videos, you know, the digging, the treasure hunting, the fun part, but there is a ton of work that goes on in the background, and today, we're going to show you guys everything we have to do and just how much work it is. So, let's get to it. All right, guys, so before we get into that, I wanted to show you this cool little sign thing we have here. It's actually a clock. It's supposed to be a Lemetric smart clock, but what it actually is is a live subscriber count. Like, this is actually connected down to my computer, and this thing works via Wi-Fi, and it actually updates every time we get a subscriber. Nothing to do with what the video is at all. We posted this on social media. I just thought it was really cool, one of the cool things that I do own. So wanted to put that out there. Let's get to the next thing. All right, guys, so first let's get into all the things we have sitting out here because this is all the stuff that's listed locally, either on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, OfferUp, things like that, stuff that's too big and bulky to ship. So a lot of this stuff out here, a lot of this stuff also has to still be gone through because we don't know exactly what we're going to be shipping. Like these laptops will probably go as a lot on eBay because I've seen them go for very high places. That's not for sale over there. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look at Dee Dee and Matrix. <laughs> but a lot of this stuff, like I said, this safe, I don't know what we're gonna do with exactly yet because obviously it's missing the key. I don't know what we can really do with it. But the shop vac will definitely be local sale. Like these VCRs and things like that will all be local sale. Some of these big bags, the shipping would cost more than the bags even worth, so it's not really worth it. On this side, we got a lot of the stuff that we're going to be donating to the Children's Hospital. Our schedules have just not been connecting. I swear every time we contact them, they don't reply. Then when they do reply to us, we're going at auctions, but we have not forgot about them. We still have all the toys, all the video games we found at the GameStop Hall. All that stuff is going to be donated. But that's all sitting on this side. So this is a mixture of stuff that's going to be donated, some stuff that still has to be gone through through eBay, but a lot of the big bulky stuff that's going to be sold locally. All right, guys, now we're in the little room. We used to record our videos in, but haven't been in the last couple because, like I said, we're still in the process of moving everything around. As you can see, this place is kind of a mess right now. We just have totes upon totes everywhere. And this closet's also full of totes, but we have to go through that stuff. That was going to go to the flea market, but now that we've started doing Poshmark and stuff, we're going to go through all these totes eventually and list some of this stuff online on eBay and Poshmark. Over here... We're starting to, these are the stuff we've already listed online. We have like individual label totes down here. That's full of shoes. Two tall totes just full of shoes. This one and this one, all full of shoes. Then we got like t-shirts, regular pieces of clothing down there. And we have one whole tote here that's literally just coats. The tech, mist, just random, I don't, this is the stuff where like, it's not really that, it's not really that. <laughs> Screw it, put it in its own thing. Bags, it's like purses and things like that. We have one little one with ties because we had an abnormal amount of ties. I thought we only had three. We have like seven or eight different ties. So put in a little tote right there. And this stuff still has to be gone through. Some of the stuff you saw in the clip earlier out there still has to be gone through. We have a lot of stuff we still have to go through. This is our setup for taking pictures. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're so <laughs> professional, clothes. guys. But Literally, that's all we got right now. We're going to order one of the white photography drop things off eBay eventually in the next couple of days. It comes down and make it look better than this. But for now, budget setup. Poster board, like the little science fair tri board, and a hanger. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. The same way, it's not really the most professional setup, obviously. But you know what? We've had this Poshmark account since sometime Saturday. We made almost $300 in sales already. It's Monday night right now. So you know what? Whether it's professional looking or not, it's kind of irrelevant because it is working. I said, I said irrelevant. It's kind of irrelevant because it's working. We're making decent money doing this on Poshmark already. All right, guys. So we always show the kittens in videos too. And I feel like we never put our snake in here. Lucifer, this snake, he's about like how old now? Two? Two and a half. Two and a half, almost three. He's the first snake we ever had. I just feel like he gets no attention because he's pretty cool too. <laughs> Poor little Lucifer in here. But it's a ball python about, like I said, two and a half years old. Just thought I'd throw him in there. <laughs> All right, guys. So before we get into pricing, I wanted to show you guys what we do to go find our prices online and how we price stuff. So before we do that, I just got to show you. The, can you hear the subscriber thing again? Woohoo! It's gone up like three or four already since we started the video. <laughs> I want, he's already here. We had to show you the cat call. Ready? The Temptations treats. We got where's, two. Where's Dexter? Uh, hey, calm down. You gotta wait a second. He should be coming around oh. the corner. There he is. <laughs> Look I don't how big know. he's getting. I don't, I don't know where Mario is. Calm Ooh. down, buddy. This thing right here, he is a treat -a -holic. He's like an alcoholic with these things. Cause probably because we give them quite a few. Good enough. 
they all literally will sit here and eat them together. And if I pour out any more than that, they'll eat like a few apiece and he will literally sit there and eat until he throws up. Matrix is just that guy. He has like a terrible food addiction for some reason. But just wanted to show the kittens. Let's get into pricing. All right, guys. So I feel like I get like literally hundreds of comments every time we do a storage unit video telling me how screwed up my prices are, why my prices are so wrong, this, this. They're too low. They're too high. We literally get everything. So I figured let's do a quick little screen capture here and show you the process we go through. So let's just pick a product off of our Poshmark site. I don't know. Let's just say Adidas Samoa shoe. That's what we're going to do. You literally go straight here, Adidas Samoa Shoes. I'm probably spelled it wrong, but I don't care. And if you go over here to the side, sold. This is literally what people have sold them for. And we just get an average. That's all we ever do. Like, I don't get why people are always saying our prices are crazy. $60, $20, $20, whatever. This went off for way too low. $71, $22. And if you want to go here too, those were in decent condition. They were pretty new. But if you use, you can even check use and see what the used one sells for instead of the new. But this is exactly how we'll get our prices on here. And plus, we also, now that we're using this, we'll do the same thing here. Just type in the same thing and see what they're going for on here and try to just undercut everybody. See, like, these are ones that are pretty beat up. Somebody's selling them for 20 bucks though. Like, these look like a little worse condition than ours, and they're going for 35 and ours are 30 like brand, new. brand new. There was there like one little spot on it that came right off. Like they might have been worn one time, but we literally try to price check people here, see what they're selling for in the same condition, and then compare that to eBay and get around an average price, and then undercut that by a little bit. Since I mean we could be making more money off this, but like I said, we buy so many units, we want to move this stuff as fast as possible. Also, I might as well show you guys up here. Look at these storage units ending in a couple days. See this one in Maryland. Anyone that lives in my area, you better not come bid me up now. I'm gonna find you. <laughs> or else. But. This is one of the ones that I always look for that looks like a bunch of trash but ends up having shoes. Like you can already see right there a pair of Tim's over there. It looks like Tim's at least right there. So just by that alone, I'm assuming there might be more valuable clothes in here as well. Plus, you never know. It's in all those black bags. We got this one coming up. We're watching this one too. Also, this looks like a ton of random stuff. But right there, you can see a shoe box as well. A lot of shoe boxes we have found. I mean, I would say probably 9 out of 10 on average are full with the shoes some of them have some random stuff in them every now and then but they usually have the shoes and this one I want to show you guys this unit I hope we get this one it's the weirdest unit ever and I feel like if I don't show you guys on storage treasures everyone's gonna be like no way this is set up but you can see there's still a day and 18 hours left on this but look at this this one's like set up like a store it's so weird look at this sign back here if you're reading this I love you <laughs> it's so <laughs> random this is the main reason I want it is right over here if you can see that, there's a sword in there. I really want the sword. I have lots of guns around here. I don't really have any sword. I have one sword only. So a sword is definitely something I'd buy for. I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, that's how we do the pricing. And now I want to show you guys how we do the pictures. All right, guys. So now let's talk about the picture taking. This is kind of a very time-consuming process since there's so many pictures for each individual item. But as I said, we have a trifold board here and a white poster board and we're just using these shoes as an example it's the last pair of shoes we have not listed yet so we we'll usually will take a picture straight on like this except it'd be straight of course then we'll take one you got to show like all angles of the item basically you take a picture like this you take a picture showing the back of the shoes like that then you have to take one like this and of course one that shows the bottom is usually what we'll do as well and the last picture will usually be it's hard to do right now without the light, but it'll show the inside, like the size of the shoe and things like that. The exact number you can use to search up the shoe. By the way, if, if you get shoes, the number on the barcode inside the shoe is how you find the exact pair so you can do your pricing. But all this comes after, of course, all the items are individually clean too. Every single pair of shoes we have has like a cleaning kit we use, a rubber thing that brings dirt out of the shoe, then a brush that takes that dirt off, and then some liquid cleaner that basically polishes it and makes it look perfect. Then after you're done with all that, then you can transfer the photos to the computer, Photoshop them if necessary. Most of the time they're good with the lighting and white like this. And then you do the pricing part, which is the next part of it. All right, guys, that is gonna about just wrap it up. So now that you see the process that goes on behind, realize that this storage unit business is a lot of fun. Trust me, I enjoy every minute of this. I am not complaining. I just wanted to show you guys that it is a lot of work that has to go on in the background and it takes a lot to clean this stuff 
take pictures, list it, price check. There's a lot of work that goes into it, a lot of organizing, a whole bunch of work, but it is so much fun. And all that is just the storage unit part of it. We're not even talking about the YouTube part of this, the editing, the Photoshopping, the thumbnails, the tagging, the descriptions. There's a lot of work we go into this, and this is why we're getting ready to start doing this thing 100% full time soon. It's a lot of work, but I enjoy every second of this. So if you enjoy this type of video, let me know. But that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos every single day of the week. Storage units, thrift stores, dumpster diving, lottery, all kinds of treasure hunting videos every single day. And if you want to follow us on our social media links, they'll be on screen. Just click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace out.